dead dad burgers, creepy McDonald's commercials, and a disturbing noodle ad. These are 10 banned fast food commercials you won't believe. Number 10, Dead Dad Burger. This commercial aired in the United Kingdom. We start by seeing a young boy walking with his mother. Then we see the boy again, but this time he's in his room going over some stuff. It looks like his dad's things because there's a watch and some other stuff. Looking at the rest of the small box, it seems like his dad was in the military, but it passed away. The slow and gentle nature of the ad makes you start to feel sad for the young boy. Next, we see his mother ironing and the boy comes downstairs. He asks her, Mom, what was dad like? This question melts your heart even more because we can tell that the boy didn't know his father very well. Maybe his dad died when he was still a baby. At this point, the best of us thought it was either a watch commercial or an insurance ad, but we were wrong. As the commercial comes to an end, we see the boy and his mom on a merry-go-round and then inside a restaurant. The boy orders a burger, which comes in a small box. As he opens it, his mom says, that's your dad's favorite burger. The whole time it was a McDonald's ad about two people liking the same burger. And it's not even the best burger on their menu. It's the filet and fish burger. Many people were not happy with the ad, and rightly so too. We don't think the best part of losing your dad is having to eat his favorite burger many years later. McDonald's may be broken, you guys, because what is this ad? Number 9. Carl's Jr. Border Burgers Let's start by saying that Carl's Jr. have never really shown women any other way. It's always women in little clothes eating burgers, or making burgers, or getting the ingredients for burgers. It's almost like fully clothed women don't like burgers. So when their Border Burger ad came out, people weren't really laughing again. They couldn't keep doing the same thing and expecting people to play along. Their ad was done on the border while raised by someone who should not be named. A group of women decided to settle a burger match with a game of volleyball over the border wall. Oh, they were just wearing bikinis. So you don't think Carl's Jr. knew any better? Each bikini had Tex or Mex written on the panties, which the ad focused on more than the burger. Also, when the ladies tried to drink water, they spilled it on their bodies instead. We weren't professors, but we know water should go into the mouth when you try drinking some. Also, the ladies looked too in shape to be eating such a large burger in the first place. It makes us wonder what they meant sometimes. A lot of people hated the ad and called it out for sexism. The silliest part is that some people didn't even know that Carl's Jr. sold burgers. That's just how distracting their ads were. Number 8. Pot Noodles – A Slag of All Snacks This ad is both funny and weird. So first we see a guy. He looks like a regular bloke. He lives a simple life and only eats a sandwich. But he soon gets tired of all that and wants to try something else. He tells his wife and other women that he'd like something more than a sandwich. But they all respond in the same way, slapping him across the face. While this might seem funny, we don't think anyone would be slapped for not wanting a sandwich. There's a much darker meaning here if you're willing to get your mind dirty. Anyways, since no one in his life would give him what he wants, he goes out to find it elsewhere. You'd think he'd go to a restaurant or a food store, but you'd be wrong. Instead, he went to the red light district because people who eat healthy go there. See why we say the commercial has a darker undertone now? Anyway, it takes a while, but he finally finds a woman who he tells about what he wants. She whispers something in his ear and takes him back to her place. The two of them end up eating some pot noodles together while making loud adult sounds. No one eats like that. Not even your sibling who sounds like an angle grinder when eating. People spoke up against the commercial and it was pulled from TV and banned. Too bad they didn't get what they wanted. If you think that the items we talk about so far are weird, well, it only gets worse. Now, we're going to take a look at learn more about the not-so-helpful hotline, an ad about bad table manners, and a bad father-to-be. Number 7. Arby's Vegetarian Helpline While this ad was funny, it was also rude. All Arby's did was create a helpline that trolled vegetarians. If you called the number, it asked you to take a deep breath and go make a salad so you wouldn't be tempted into eating their meaty burgers. We think vegetarians have been doing just fine for years. The ad was disrespectful, so it's no wonder they banned it from showing again. How you feel as a vegetarian that buys Arby's burgers for your non-vegetarian child only to be spoken to like that? They didn't think this one through. Number 6. KFC Zinger Burger the Zinger Burger ad from KFC that aired in the United Kingdom wasn't liked by many. You see, English folks like to do things prim and proper, so seeing an ad that had bad table manners was terrifying for them. We wouldn't be surprised if many parents covered their kids' eyes and ears when this commercial came on TV. The ad opens in an office where we see some ladies with headphones next to some computers. They looked like customer service workers who answered the phones to help out others. Given how customer service takes forever to answer the phone or get back to you, this ad was annoying on some level. 
Anyway, we see the ladies dive into the Zinger burger set. As they eat and take their drinks, they talk and laugh with their mouths still full of food. Even the last voice at the end of the commercial sounded like they were eating something. Number 5. Doritos Ultrasound Ad This ad is both liked and hated by many people, but it was banned all the same. So, the commercial begins at a hospital where we see two parents-to-be. The woman is lying in the hospital bed while a doctor uses ultrasound equipment to show the baby on a monitor. Next to both of them is the husband of the woman who's not really doing anything. In fact, he doesn't even look interested. This was a red flag for many people because having an ultrasound is one of the most emotional moments in some people's lives. Anyway, the man is just standing there and munching on some Doritos. Is food even allowed in hospitals? Anyways, he put one Dorito chip to his mouth. He sees the baby moving. He waves the chip over his wife's stomach and we can see the baby trying to grab the snack. He moves his hand quickly and the baby hits the woman from inside. She's not happy and grabs the chip from her husband, but she doesn't eat it. Instead, she throws it away and the baby jumps from out of to grab the Doritos chip. First of all, can we just agree that a baby jumping out from such a high table will not end well? Secondly, and more importantly, does it mean that Doritos will make you give birth earlier than normal? We have so many questions. Number 4. Quiznos Spong Monkeys Quiznos Sub is a sandwich fast food restaurant like Subway. Some time ago, they made an ad of two rodents singing about the subs at the restaurant. Two mice that changed outfits, played the guitar, and sang. They weren't great singers, and their eyes and mouths were all over the place. But that's not the worst part of the ad. They used rodents, the one thing no one wants near their food. We can't help but wonder if this means that Quiznos Sub had a clean and safe environment for preparing their meals. Starting now, things get serious. It's now time to look at an ad that went in a different direction than planned, an ad that shows a clown committing a felony, and finally, the one-stop solution to all your problems. Number 3. Starbucks Race Together In 2015, Starbucks started a new ad in Trent where baristas wrote, race together on your cup and talk to you about racial problems. What could go wrong? It's not like you're trying to enjoy your coffee in peace or anything. What made the commercial silly was that it was promoted by the CEO of Starbucks, who wanted his staff to talk about racial tensions and inequality in the country. If the baristas were such experts at race theory, who is advising the president when they're working long hours at a coffee shop? People also weren't happy about a rich white man trying to sound woke. Number 2. Ronald McDonald Ad Back in the day, before McDonald's removed Ronald as their mascot, they added some Ronald McDonald clown toys to their Happy Meals. We've covered some of those toys on the channel before. In this commercial, though, Ronald comes to hang out with you himself. They promise that the clown will be with you all day and all night, which is kind of concerning. If we're honest, we see the kids looking bored and watching TV, while Ronald hangs in the background trying to make them laugh. He's not that funny because no one's even smiling. Next, they promise Ronald will help with the dishes. But what we really saw was the clown trying to drown the child in the kitchen sink before slipping and falling. Now we've got a lot of questions, but let's continue. But the scariest part of the commercial is when one of the kids starts having a burger. Ronald isn't happy that the child isn't having a McDonald's burger, so he pulls up looking very cross. And in a creepy voice, he asks, What are you eating there, Billy? Is that a Hungry Jack's there, Billy? The child tries to defend himself, but Ronald slaps the burger out of his hand. The crew try to step in and stop Ronald, but he throws a burger at them and starts to hit Billy. The crew manage to tackle the clown to the ground, and Billy runs away. That's very disturbing for a food advert. Now on to the moment you've all been waiting for. Number 1. Pepsi Black Lives Matter when talking about social problems that have been around for centuries, what do we all think about, right? Pepsi, right? No. Well, that's a surprise. In 2017, PepsiCo released an ad with Kendall Jenner that shows us that the only way to achieve peace and stop any problems is with a can of Pepsi. World War? Here's a can of Pepsi. Climate change? Have you tried giving the planet a Pepsi? Truckers protesting? Has anyone handed the truckers a Pepsi? Now you know how to get out of any sticky situation. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.